Yo, guys, welcome back to episode, like, a lot. <laughs> I think this is 17. We're here, we're active, and we're ready to go. And look at Craig's nipples. That's all I gotta say. They're those beautiful areolas. Guys, uh... <laughs> right. What? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He has the most beautiful areolas I've seen. Ah, ah, you killed me, Jojo. All right, yo, <laughs> guys. So real quick, I send I send a, a meme to my friend on Instagram, and this is my boy JP. Shout out to JP. You know what? I don't know what what he does, but yo, shout out to JP. Anyways, I sent a message. It's like, um, okay. So the meme goes when the when the game makes you fight the same boss three times. And in the pictures of the episode of Spongebob where the guy was like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> the, when the game makes you fight the boss three times. Nice. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. <laughs> That's a good episode. You ready for a feast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey Matt, listen, take a seat real quick. Um, the Craig train is putting into the relaxation station, and I'm your conductor. A chew, a chew. Let me let me cook for you. A chew, a chew. Yeah. Chew, chew. It sounds like you're sneezing. <laughs> a chew, a chew. Well, bless you. Bless me. <laughs> Absolutely not. Cooking is the thing that relaxes me the most. I'll take it from here. Yeah, man. Dude, he has that that V shape. You ever seen that V shape that people be talking about? Some 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 people be walling with the V shape. They be having like a like a acute angle V shape, <laughs> yeah, like twenty two degrees <laughs> vertical. <laughs> Craig cooks now. What the fuck is going on? I remember how this entire sophomore year diet consisted of microwavable mac and cheese, but not microwaved, and have trouble believing the thing he just said. <laughs> that is the most confusing sentence of Dream Daddy Was that one <laughs> At least let me start the fire hmm. Sure Let me just grab my matches oh, God thank God I thought he was going to say testicles <laughs> Craig reaches into his backpack He rummaged I, Those words man <laughs> Wait you rum Rum and mages Like how does that even work Drunk mages Whatever man he rummages around in his bag, pulling things out and checking every pocket. Uh-oh. I don't know. I know I packed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Craig checks another bag and still can't find it. Yo, if he has to light the fire up with his urine or something, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> he has to use his chiseled air of a rock. You imagine? Just, <laughs> damn. <laughs> my stomach grumbles, and now I'm more acutely aware of how cold and wet I am. We really need to get a fire started. Okay, well, it's not the end of the world. Damn. Yeah, we could do without fire, right? Hmm. Oh. Gosh, I'm so stupid. I could have sworn I packed it in. I'm sorry, dude. Okay, here we go. Don't be mad. We can figure this out. We can start a fire. We're smart guys. I mean, how hard could it be? I've watched plenty of survival programs on TV. If a naked reality TV star can do it, so can we. Oh, it's that show. Um, What was it, like Survivalist? Yeah, yeah um, uh, guys, um, just... We know what show we're talking about. It's like yeah. they're naked. They're, I think maybe it might be naked and afraid. There you go. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that show. Where you're naked and afraid, <laughs> and that's probably human abuse. We'll need some wood. I just see. I'm glad we're mature. That he could say something that we're gonna be like, yeah, you know what wood we need? This dude. Like, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Don, I missed my chance. I gestured to the trees around us. Oh. Let me gesture to the trees around you. Hey, bro, we're going to need some of your wood. What? Yo, come on. Can you drop a branch or two? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? There's no shortage of that. And some tinder. Like the app? <laughs> what tinder? Like... You, you, you was born in 1994, <laughs> sir. What do you mean? Before, before the app, tinder was like... Okay, think like... Something that's not the app. <laughs> okay. That is Tinder. <laughs> okay. The air? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was Tinder. Is it like... It has something to is do it with... like timber? No, no. It, it has something to do with charcoal. You sure? I thought it had something to do with wood. No, no. That's timber. When you when you tip over a cow or a tree. <laughs> and you're like, timber! <laughs> right? But Tinder... It's either like a can or... <laughs> 
<laughs> or charcoal. A can of what? A bean? I don't know. Oh, it's something. A can, a can of charcoal. Yo, I don't know, bro. We're just gonna die out here, man. We gotta start throwing shit in flame. We can make that work. And then I think some ancient aliens are then supposed to come by and give us advantage technology. Advanced. Yeah, yeah, same thing. <laughs> are, basically, people who watch that show probably don't even know the difference between the words advanced and advantage. <laughs> Those damn idiots. Yeah, because ancient Egyptians didn't have iPhones. They couldn't build stuff. Like, shut up. <laughs> or, or renovate our house. Depends on the show. Craig and I gather a variety of wood, bark, and moss. Until we have all the materials that could, conceptually, hypothetically speaking, make a passable looking campfire. What's a passable look? It's a campfire. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's something that looks like fire. Which is? Red stuff. <laughs> Just add fire, right? <laughs> Craig's line. That's the fun part. The sun is just now setting and a cool breeze rustles the leaves of the trees around us. We have to work quick. Mm -hmm. I've done this in the past. I know I can figure it out. Just give me a second. Anyway, I can help you. Mm -hmm. Give me some moral support. Lift my spirits and we'll make this fire happen. Okay, yeah, sure. You can do it. Never knew a better Craig. Go overboard with compliments. You'll just go overboard. Go overboard? Okay. Yeah. You're really giving that fire the business. Yeah. Oh, boy. You're an amazing, hard-working father with a steady work ethic, and everyone loves you. Oh, that's like a nice compliment. Your daughters think you're a superhero, and the neighborhood dads respect you immensely. They better. Also, your butt looks great. Yeah, I do squats at night at sleep. <laughs> Bro, stop! You are all the eggplants and hearts for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks for that, man. And confetti and stuff. Okay, okay. Don't want your tears. Tears or tears? Tears. Oh, don't want your tears putting out the fire. What Eventually. The yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Damn. Eventually, Craig is miraculously able to get something going. He blows on the embers and gently places the glowing moss into the base of the pit. Soon enough. We have a nice little fire going. Hey, look, we have a fire on the thing. Way to go, man. We're regular old outdoorsy fellas. Yeah, man, that's what that's what the light was for. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hooray for not dying. Yeah, it would have been horrible, man. We I just died. I think that's a good thing we could all cheer to it. Yeah, no. Yeah. For life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I take a seat in one of the lawn chairs Craig brought and cozy up to the fire warming up my hands. Which one do you think it is? Uh, um, his, his is probably, hopefully, the green one. The green one? Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Relax, man. Take it easy. Let me handle the dinner. Okay. I watch as Craig stokes the fire and sets up a makeshift grill for the steaks. I read stroke. I thought he was, like, stroking the fire with his hands. No, no. Like, good fire. <laughs> burn brightly. <laughs> like, yo, Craig, your hand is burnt, bro. <laughs> After all that hiking and swimming and fire starting, I'm able to relax a bit with the sound of crickets and the scent of steak filling the air. I actually feel pretty calm. Craig ex expertly sears two steaks in a pan he's been heating up on the fire, cracking thyme and crushed ginger over it while basting them both in butter. Thyme? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Wow. I didn't know he was actually good at cooking. The fanciest I ever saw him get in college was when he started sprinkling the seasoning packet onto dry ramen uh, and eating it straight up. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, so what I know about Craig is that he eats stuff raw. He eats like, like the ramen. um, Eggs? I don't know. Did he drink eggs? No, no, no. Uh, the ramen is a perfect example. Like he just Oh, the, the mac and cheese. Yeah, there you go. It's like he just likes eating stuff raw because he did not know how to cook. He's trying to emphasize that he doesn't know how to cook. When did this happen? You used to eat cereal every morning with beer instead of milk. Whoa. Why that am... sounds disgusting. Yeah, why am I attracted to this guy? <laughs> why? Come on, big. Gotta... He's a changed man. Yeah, I didn't know that before I started <laughs> going out with him. Oh. I grew up, I guess. See, he grew up. Sheesh. I think these are just about ready. Ooh. Sizzling sticks. <laughs> Craig puts the steaks onto a paper plate and sets them aside. I start to reach for one, but Craig smacks my hand away. Let him cool. Dude, let them rest. 
Mm-hmm. I'm a flavor booth that way. Okay, okay. I patiently return to my seat, eyeing the steaks longingly from a distance. They smell incredible. Oh. Craig prepares a side salad for us in the meantime, sprinkling feta cheese <laughs> onto freshly chopped up greens. He plates it next to the generous pile of roasted potatoes covered in olive oil and rosemary. Once it's all ready, we sit down by the fire and dig in. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my God, Joe. Everything tastes okay? Okay? Yeah. I'm in heaven, bro. No, that's good to know. Yeah, man, thank God. That's what I like to hear. Mm. (laughs) I just got that. Remember how for an entire semester we would eat burritos for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Damn. A whole semester? (laughs) It's so hard to not go back to that. Look at you now, man. You have kids, a great job, and now you cook like a vengeful wizard though whose arch nemesis is microwavable food. I'm really impressed with how much you've gotten your life together. <laughs> Craig laughs, but there's ah, no humor ah, in it. Ah, 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 ah. You really do sound like a wizard. <laughs> I'm glad you think that. I glance at Craig while he picks at his salad. I hope he's not one of them picky eaters, like, like with a fork. Try, try, trying to get the olive with the fork. <laughs> like trying to get it out? Yeah, no, no. Okay, so the olive, the the, 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 the circle olive. Well, yeah. But yeah, yeah, just click. click like trying to get it. Uh, Don't you mean peas? Yes, <laughs> I mean peas. Olives have like a seed in the middle. You can't pick it up with a fork. Yo, whatever, man. Just don't do it. Green. <laughs> don't, everybody, if you're watching this video, stop doing what you're doing. That's it, just watch. I can glance at Craig while he picks that salad. He really grew out of his baby face, but there's something about his expression that makes him seem so much older than he is. A sense of maturity he didn't have in college. He looks, um, what's the word? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you okay? Oh. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Come on, dude. I've known you for long enough to see when you're, when you're down. He's covering his nipples. No! <laughs> You still got one showing, so... Eh, that's like a tease. Make a, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh, here we go. I'm tired, bro. I think being out here is making me realize how drained I am for you. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You can't form a sentence, man. <laughs> I read a wrong word. You work really hard, Craig. It can't be easy. I, I have to for my girls. I volunteer at their school. I cook healthy meals for them. I do everything I can to make sure they're safe and happy. And when they're with their mom, I'm always working overtime so I can support them. And then you work out a lot so you can crush anyone who stands in their way. Crush. Kill. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Stomp. (laughs) (laughs) That and I don't want to fall into my old habits. I need to set a good example for my girls. Everything I do is for them. And I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I can picture Craig like... In college days, right? Mm-hmm. But I could picture him like in high school days where he was like an emo. <laughs> you think he was emo? I think he was an emo. One of those people where like like we'll be walking down the street and he'll be like 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 you know, darkness, death mm-hmm. like, and stuff like life that. Matters and then, and then somebody and then somebody would be like, Excuse me, coming through and then we'll push Craig down and then uh, and then Craig will be like, This guy will pay. He will pay for his life. Darkness, death. <laughs> Craig, man, don't worry about it. I think he was just in a hurry. Darkness, <laughs> death. Like <laughs> Oh, I thought the twist was he was saying it to, to the other guy because he, you know, he wants to die. He's emo. <laughs> it's like, dark this death to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> you robbed this opportunity from me. <laughs> emo. <laughs> There's a difference between emo and golf. I got to. Gotta, really? Yeah, I got to get on that. My, my younger brother did a whole. He had a phase? No, no. He, he had a. He did independent research on it. Oh. And he was so interested. <laughs> he did. Yo, you know, it dates back to like freaking vampires. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm, golf is vampire. Damn. I don't want to make fun of our girls. But it's like, <laughs> y'all sleep upside down on the ceiling or something? <laughs> <laughs> Who sleeps upside down on the ceiling? Yeah, I mean, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> do you sleep upside whatever, down? Whatever, man. Yo, don't judge me. It's my house. I can do whatever I want. But it seems like it's bleeding you dry. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it takes to raise them well, then it's worth it. Greg, buddy. I know where you're coming from here. But you got to take care of yourself, too. Hey. I do, though. 
I eat right and exercise and... That, that, that's not what I mean, man. You're too little butter on too much toast. You know what I'm saying? No. Is it not flavorful enough? Is the toast not good enough? <laughs> what? Oh, shit, he's growing up. All right. <laughs> yeah, listen, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're spreading yourself too thin. Life, oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, God, fuck. Life, life needs balance. You know, it's great that you care this much about your kids, but you can't neglect your own needs, man, because you're too busy taking care of everyone else's. You matter, too. Oh. It's just, I know I can provide for my family, and if I take a step back and look at everything objectively, I know I'm doing right by them. I don't know. But I can't explain it, man. There's always that voice in the back of my head telling me that I need to do more. It's like it's never enough for me. Every time I try to relax, that voice keeps telling me I don't deserve it. To be honest. Honest. I even feel guilty about being out there, out here. Yeah, I couldn't see. There's something blocking my view. Craig, man, you're trying your best and you're doing an amazing job. That's a fact. But even if you weren't, you will still deserve happiness. Oh. Do I, though? Do I? Yeah. yeah. Does anyone deserve happiness? Uh, some people do. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, You're asking me personal questions. Uh, You're throwing me off my game here. Yeah. Look, look, even Big is thrown off. (laughs) (laughs) Same same lanes, man. Same lane down the same highway. Hell yeah, bro. No, no, wait. That's too much. Just hell yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, I'm hard. Yeah, I probably would have gotten eggplants if I would have done hell yeah, bro. (laughs) I look at Craig and think about what a good friend and even better father he is. He's compassionate. He's hardworking. He's relentlessly positive. He encourages everyone to be the best version of themselves. He makes me want to be a better person. If you could only see yourself the way I see you, man. Oh. Craig beams. He gets up and walks over to his supplies. Mm. Come on. I brought dessert. I'm glad the narrator sounded just like Craig. Oh, and are you going <laughs> to use the campfire to torch the tops of some creme brulee? Oh. Sound like a freaking Pokemon brulee. <laughs> Go, Brule, high jump kick. No, he missed. What? <laughs> I know a little I know little to nothing about cooking. I mean, that's not true, but okay. Craig pulls out marshmallows. Aha. Yo, I, I bought marshmallows at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. <laughs> Poor people, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> at the Dollar Tree, right? And I try putting it over my stove. <laughs> and it doesn't work. I don't get it. You gotta put it on high and like, I don't leave get it, it for a while. God man. Well, you have to get closer, probably. Yeah, that's not like I don't have. I, I was using like a fork. I don't have like a long stick or something. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, I get it. I wish I could just throw the marshmallow in my mouth and just throw the fire in my mouth. Just, <laughs> but I'm burning, yo. That's my new invention. That's gonna be my future invention. <laughs> fire you can throw in your mouth. Yeah, fire you can throw in your mouth and it won't burn you. Just mm. burn the food. Well, you still know how to make s'mores, right? I think the more important question is: Do you know how to make s'mores? As I recall, you used to just completely blacken the marshmallows. Oh, I stand by that. It's charred on the outside, but gooey center is preserved. Brutish. 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 <laughs> Brutish! Out here! I need your help. Father, you've called? <laughs> I, I, was thinking, I was thinking like a big mean bodyguard, but okay. Hey, what's going on, boss? This guy came out. Father! Like, I was thinking <laughs> like... I was thinking like Greek mythology yeah. and you were calling like Zeus calling for his son. Oh, Brutish, come here. Father, <laughs> do you need my help? And it's like, Brutish, why do you insist on dancing your way into the room like a ballerina? <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> hey, come on, I've bro. named you over the strength <laughs> and you dilly dally your way in here. <laughs> Father, <laughs> I wish to be the god of dance. <laughs> And like, bro, like, oh my god. I can't do it. I can't be a Greek god, man. The hood would come out. Can you imagine I'm in the movies? Like, they're like, yo, attacker man. Like, what? Like, like you're a good actor? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, okay, you got the part. And then, like, they give me a scene like this, and the hood comes out of me. Like, yo, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Cut! Craig throws a marshmallow at me, and I catch it in my mouth. Mm. Okay. Pro move. Yeah. Mm. I mean... I cashed up with my mouth. What can I say? <laughs> we used to be able to do that at a great distance against wind disadvantage. Oh, interesting. Wind disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a week of practice and I'll be competitive again. Craig and I sit in the warm glow of the campfire, watching embers float up towards the sky. 
The stars are so much brighter out here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I miss this big. Yeah. I miss big. No, man, you just miss this <laughs> big. Me too. It was this big what I missed. You see the emotion <laughs> that's like that's running through the game right now. Yeah. And, and 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 he says he misses it. Yeah. And and personally, I think it's because of the stars. You think the stars? Yeah, giving I, him emotion? yeah. I think I think just the whole scenery and just with the beautiful stars. You can't do that in the city. In the city, <laughs> you look up, you be like, "The fuck are you looking at?" <laughs> I was gonna cuss. <laughs> I mean, I already cuss. I was gonna say something else. <laughs> it's a helicopter, bro. We stay here until it gets late, half remembering stories from college. We watch as the fire dies and eventually climb into the tent. Oh, this is what happened with Oprah. We're in the tent. Are we? Do we share a tent? We crawl into the tent and I unfurl my sleeping bag. Yep. Oh, we are sharing tents. Yeah, we're sharing the tent. Wait, where's the other sleeping bag? Here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, no. This is it, y'all. This is it. I look around for a second. Oh, don't find it. Don't find it. Oh, no. I must have left it at home. It's all yours, dude. I'm sorry. I'll just curl up over here. Mm-hmm. No way. Here. Craig unzips his... Oh. <laughs> his zippers. Whoa! <laughs> Craig unzips the sleeping bag and spreads it out so that there's enough room for both of us to lay on top of it. <laughs> oh, man. This is getting uh, pretty intense. Night, bro. Good night, man. It says bro. <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> I roll over and we face away from each other without a blanket. It's pretty cold. Oh, we have no blanket. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you hyping it up for? It's about to be out back mountain. <laughs> oh my god! I swear to God, I think it's broke back, but still. Whatever it's called, <laughs> I shit. Out back mountain is the one with the ostriches. Anyways, what? I shiver and without realizing it, I, there's laws against that, you know. <laughs> against <laughs> ostriches? No, against man and ostrich. Trust um, me, I know. <laughs> Yo, I hope I never become famous. People can take this out of context. But David likes to mess with ostriches. Yeah, he likes it when they stick their heads down into the ground. Whoa, pause! <laughs> what? <laughs> he turns over and I can feel his breath on my neck. It's yeah. hard to focus on anything else. <sighs> oh my god, this guy! The guy ain't not doing no my neck, bro. I want to punch you in the face. To no offense. <laughs> You're like my hot breath. <laughs> I turn over, trying to get more comfortable. I open my eyes to find Craig's face only a few inches from my own. For once, he looks at peace. Is he dead? <laughs> you were in a very good moment, yo. I'm trying to be poetic. <laughs> and Joe's like, yeah, he probably died. <laughs> like, Yeah, he looks at peace. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean you're always <laughs> dead. You know, people can be happy without dying. But they won't look Pe- at peace. The only people that can't do that is like married people. But everybody else, we could, <laughs> you know, you could be happy and not die. His eyes flutter open. Flutter, flutter, flutter. His hands find a place. I don't know where. On your waist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's backtrack. We're not sure about that. I didn't read that last word. I'm not sure who leans in first before we start. In the, ugh, we start I mean, not, not ugh like that, but like I have saliva in my mouth. Listen, we just start kissing. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna continue the scene. Whoa! On the next episode. What? We're gonna leave it like this. <laughs> this guy is spinning his head like an ostrich. <laughs> I'm not sure who leans in first, man, but we suddenly start kissing. Yup. This is it, man. They're, they're going at it. So, as always, my lovely patients, tune in next time. Yeah, man, and um, just uh, make sure y'all got tissues in your room. <laughs> How many tissues do you think they need? Uh, a whole box full. Mm. Yeah. Who do you think is uh, the the top? Who's bottom? Damn, dude, we're just kissing. <laughs> we're not like we're 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 getting there. Don't dude, worry about it. We're half naked. We're kissing. That's what. That's it. We're kissing. Half naked. Okay. We're leaning. We side by side. You know, and then we're kissing. And yeah. Then, I don't think anybody's on top of anybody at the moment. Well, you don't have to be on top of the other person. You, no. Okay. My God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. There's a thing called the Kama Sutra, which has a book on everything. Whoa. We- <laughs> Whoa. You got to see, Joe, this is what I'm talking about. You got to baby step my way into these conversations. You can't just throw a Kama Sutra at me, you know? Gosh. <laughs>